In this video I'm going to teach you how you can make a follow alert with Streamlabs. My name is Tree and I make streamer support videos. Seem smarter, not harder. Before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday on twitch.tv slash Tree. If you have any questions about streaming, just hop in and ask them. First thing you need to do is go to streamlabs.com and then log in. I'm already logged in so for me it says dashboard. We click on that. Then on the left, we see a category called features. Here is the alert box. Click on that. Now, if we scroll down, we have the default settings here. These are the general settings. You can set these and then these will apply to everything. What we can also do is just go to follow in the top here and enable this follow command. And then this are the settings for a follow command. If you only want a follow command, make sure to go to all these other tabs and disable them. Disable all of these, like literally all these steps. If you do want them to, repeat the same steps as we did in the follow alert. Okay, so make sure this is unenabled. Then we're gonna need to choose something. And what this is that we choose is basically where does our picture go and where does our text go? So here, the picture's on top and the text is down at the bottom. And then we have the text over the image. And then here we have the image on the left and the text on the right. So here, down here, we have something called image. This is where we upload an image. And then we have the sound here. This is where we upload a sound. So you can do that by clicking on change image here. And you can see a lot of images here that I have uploaded. This will not be the case for you. You have to click here and upload or just drag a file in here and it will upload automatically. Then we can uh, choose an image, for example, this one and then select. So now if I would test this, uh, the text name is following will appear above this image of me in pixel art. And then with this sound, that sound. <laughs> okay, so like it's important to choose a picture and a sound first before you do anything because we want to work from there. We've picked our image and the sound right now. The sound just goes the same, click on change media and, and pick your media or drag it in. Uh, what we do now is we're gonna see alert animation. This is how your alert gets onto your stream. For me, it's on fade in, fade out. That means that the opacity is gonna increase. So it, it's gonna appear and disappear. But then like with the opacity, right? But there's a lot more options here. We can also bounce in and it bounces in. We have slide in and it slides in. We've got flip in. Uh, on the X and the Y and rotate here and then it's gonna like turn around and come in. <laughs> we've got uh, light speed, roll in and we've got none. So you can decide how you get it in. If you will pick none, it will just be there and then disappear instantly uh, like just a normal cut in a video. Okay, so make sure that this one on the right is probably the opposite of what you choose on the left. So this is the fade out. So that means that if you fade in, it's probably nicest to fade out as well and not roll out or something like that. But I guess if you want to, you could do that. Then we want the message template. If you want something else than the name who follow you is following, you can change this. So we can do like um, name is part of the squad or we can do name is one of the cool people now. <laughs> I'm just thinking all stupid things, but that's fine. Uh, as long as you keep this name part in, because this is going to be the actual name of the person who follow you. Then text animation. So this text that is going to appear in the stream when somebody follows can have an animation as well. I didn't do that because I think it's a little bit distracting myself. But if you like that, you can set a text animation here. You can balance pulse. That is just what the letters are going to do. So for pulse, the letters are going to be doing this. Um, for bounce, they're going to be bouncing. Wiggle, they're going to be wiggling. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, right? And otherwise you can test them. Uh, I'm going to like show you how to put them in OBS in a second. And if you have them in OBS, then we can test them. So set it on something right now that you think would look nice and we can test if it looks nice and you can always come back here and change it. Sound volume. I, I have that on 100 for my sound, but try and figure out what is a good volume for your alert to go off. Alert duration. I would say don't make the alert too long. If you make a follow alert too long, then it can be a little bit spammy for your stream if you start to receive more and more followers. And then text delay. So what we can do is we can delay what time the text comes in. So now the text comes in with the image. But if we set this on one, 
a second, then one second later the text will pop in instead of just with the image itself. Then we have enable custom HTML CSS. If you're watching this video, I would recommend keeping this on disabled. This is some kind of code that you can write yourself and you can customize your alert. But this is kind of hard to do. And if you're watching this, to be honest, it's probably too, too hard for you. I don't even do it myself either, you know. But yeah, keep this on disabled. And then here we have some more settings. So the font settings. So this text that comes in your stream, we can do a lot with that as well. So we can have the fonts um, be different. I believe they're all Google fonts in here. Oh, whoops, I closed it again. <laughs> we can have the font thicker or elastic. And we can change the color of everything. So right now, this is why this is everything. Uh, but the highlight color, that's the name of the person. So this part, the name, is going to be blue and this is going to be white. If you want to be the same color, just change this to the same color. Uh, these are just the uh, hex codes. So if you have like uh, colors that come in your logo or something like that, you can use those in here as well. There are some websites out there that will actually help you find back which, which color you used in an image. And then uh, they will give that code and that's the same code as here. So you can put that in here. And then we have variety settings. That's here. So what you can do is you can have different followers. You can have multiple different ones that randomly get shown. You can do that by um, add with current settings or add with default settings. Default settings are the one in this general settings tab. Current settings are the ones from this follower alert. So you can add variations with that. Um, they, can, they work the same as the, this one works. Just set everything the same as you did here. Well, not really, because you want to make them different, so set them differently, but you can set them the same way, you know? And then always save your settings. Click on save. If you do not click on save, it won't work. What we do now, we scroll a little bit up. Here it says click to show widget URL. I'm not gonna click because you guys are not supposed to see this, but there's also a pop-up button. So now you guys don't actually see it. And what we do now is I'm dragging OBS in. I'm gonna uh, disable preview for a second so you guys don't go crazy. And we click on the plus here and then go to browser and then probably call it something like Streamlabs or Streamlabs Alerts. Just so you know what it is. And then um, this giant thing is in front of it. But we're gonna remove that. And we're gonna paste the URL in there. Let me make sure that you guys see it. Well, not the URL, I'm gonna like block that out. And then make the width 1080p. Oh, that's 1090, 1080. And then by 1920. And then remove this, all this in the custom SCZ. And then click on okay. Okay, so now, if we go back to Streamlabs, I'm gonna label the preview so I can actually see it myself. And then we have here um, a test button, test subscriptions, test follow. So I'm gonna click on test follow. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> so like you guys see, it just appeared on the stream because I'm actually recording this with OBS. So you can see it. I can also let show it in OBS, but it's kind of streamception as I do that. So excuse me for that. Look, <laughs> Tree is now following. It's so huge, but you can make it smaller. So if you're like, oh, this is so huge and I want to make it smaller, just make it smaller, which with uh, control will keep it in shape. And if you want to cut things off, you can also use alt to drag these in without messing with the picture itself. Uh, let me test it again. Test follow. There we go. Now it's small. See? And like I said, now the text is on top of the picture. Um, but what we can also do is go back to the website. And then if we click something else like this one and then save, always save if we change something, then click on test follow again, we will see that this is different. Um, let me make it bigger again. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I cut that off, remember? But now it's underneath it. And we can also go back to Streamlabs and put it next to it and save. Now testing the follow. Will did I say I did save right? I'm pretty sure I saved. I'm saving again just to be sure. <laughs> okay, there we go. 
Ah, there we go. Now it's working. Tree is now following. And then we have the picture super small. So if you have a cool picture, I recommend not using this one because this makes the picture pretty small. I really like either one of these two, but that really depends on what you want with your, uh, with your alert. That's how simple it is to make a follow alert with Streamlabs. If you want to make a subscriber and a donation alert as well, just follow the same steps in the other tabs and you will get there as well. You don't have to add the link multiple times because it's the same link for all the alerts. If you guys have trouble with actually setting up all the other alerts and you guys want a little bit of a longer tutorial where I also explain those, please leave a comment down below because then I know, hey, you guys need a little bit more uh, advice on how to do it. If you guys got it without me, if you guys just got it by me showing how to make a follow alert, I also want to know, just leave it down in the comments below. Tell me that you have, you've got it, you did it, and um, we can all be proud of you. Aside of alerts, we also need commands. So let's jump into this playlist with Streamlabs commands. 